in the ever-shifting chessboard of global defense, 2025 has brought a bold new player onto the stage a symbol of rising independence, technological ambition, and regional power projection. Turkey, long seen as a dependable yet dependent partner within NATO, has now officially unveiled its most significant leap in aerospace innovation, the TF Khan, Turkey's first domestically developed fifth-generation fighter jet. The Turkish defense industry has been growing quietly and steadily for years, but the reveal of the TF Khan has jolted the international community, signaling that Turkey is not just catching up it's actively shaping the future of aerial combat. This isn't just a fighter jet. It's a declaration of sovereignty, a pivot toward military independence, and perhaps, a hint that the global order in air superiority is about to get more crowded. The TF Khan is the product of Turkish Aerospace Industries, or TAI, a company that, until recently, was best known for its drones and licensed aircraft production. But with the Khan, Tai has stepped into the elite club of countries capable of developing fifth-generation fighter technology. To put that in perspective, only a few nations are namely the United States, Russia, and China have successfully fielded fifth-gen fighters. For Turkey to make such a leap is not only impressive it's unprecedented. So, what is the TF Khan, and why is everyone talking about it? At first glance, the jet shares visual similarities with other fifth-generation fighters. The angular design, stealth-oriented airframe, and internal weapons bays are hallmarks of radar-evading aircraft. But beneath the surface, the TF Khan is uniquely Turkish a blending local engineering with imported expertise and a clear eye toward future conflict scenarios. The jet was officially rolled out in late 2023 and conducted its maiden flight in early 2025, right on schedule a rarity in defense programs that often face years of delays. During its first flight, the TF Khan demonstrated stable handling, agility, and most importantly, stealth capability. It's designed to operate in contested environments. Equipped with low observability against enemy radar, high-speed supersonic cruising without afterburners, and advanced avionics designed to dominate the electronic battlefield. The cockpit is built for a single pilot, wrapped in a bubble canopy offering excellent visibility. Inside, it features a cutting-edge glass cockpit with multifunction displays, helmet-mounted queuing systems, an artificial intelligence assisted decision making a technology is designed not only to support but to anticipate a pilot's needs in real time. The Khan isn't just flying into enemy airspace it's out thinking it. What really sets this fighter apart, however, is the vision behind it. Turkey has been trying to break free from foreign dependency in defense technology for years. Frustrations with restrictions on F-35 purchases, particularly after Turkey acquired Russia's S-400 missile defense system, forced a change in strategy. With the US cutting Turkey out of the F-35 program, Ankara responded not with compliance, but with innovation. The TF Khan is the ultimate counterpunch. Initially, the aircraft is powered by twin General Electric F-110 engines American-made power plants that have been widely used in other fighters like the F-16. But Turkey has already signaled that it's developing an indigenous engine, in partnership with an Rolls-Royce, aiming to eliminate reliance on foreign propulsion systems. The future vision is clear, a fighter jet that is 100% Turkish in origin. Performance-wise, the TF Khan is projected to exceed Mach 1.8 in speed, with a combat radius of over 1,100 km. It features internal weapons bays to maintain stealth, but also has external hard points for increased payload flexibility when stealth isn't a priority. It's expected to carry a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, including Turkey's own Bozdoyan and Gia Tilda Pilkrokdoyan missile systems. 
With time, the jet may also be equipped for electronic warfare and advanced drone coordination making it a true multi-role platform. Turkey isn't just building a fighter jet it's building a doctrine. The TF Khan is meant to integrate with a broader ecosystem that includes unmanned systems like the Bayraktar Ka Diaris Sis Plus Minus Za Diaris Sis Plus Minus Lelma and the both of which are capable combat drones. In future Turkish air combat operations, we are likely to see a loyal wingman concept where the TF Khan leads a formation supported by AI powered drones. This strategy enhances mission flexibility, reduces pilot risk, and allows for rapid adaptability in chaotic combat environments economically and geopolitically. The TF Khan is already making waves. Turkey hopes to export the aircraft to friendly nations, particularly those in the Middle East, Asia, and even Africa regions hungry for modern air power but wary of Western strings attached. Nations like Azerbaijan, Pakistan, and Indonesia have expressed interest. For Turkey, this isn't just about military capability it's about establishing itself as a global arms supplier. Now, let's talk strategy. Why does this matter in 2025? For starters, the world is witnessing an evolution in military alignments. NATO is still strong, but fractures are visible. The U.S. Turkey relationship remains strained, and Ankara's efforts to chart an independent defense policy are increasingly evident. The TF Khan gives Turkey leverage not just against adversaries, but also within alliances. In the eastern Mediterranean, where tensions with Greece persist, and in northern Syria, where Turkish interests collide with Western and Russian agendas, a domestically produced stealth fighter changes the rules. Turkey now has the option to project power, conduct precision strikes, and defend its airspace without external permission or supply line constraints. That's a game changer. And then there's prestige. Nations that build fifth gen jets don't just gain aircraft they gain status. They send a message to the world, we are capable. We are sovereign, and we are to be taken seriously. For Turkey, a nation with imperial history and regional ambition, the TF Khan symbolizes a return to influence not through nostalgia, but through innovation. There are, of course, challenges. Developing and mass producing a fifth generation fighter is enormously expensive. Maintaining it is even more so. The jet is still in its early testing phases, and we won't know its true combat capability until it's deployed in real-world scenarios. Integration with legacy systems, training new pilots, and establishing maintenance infrastructure all take time. But Turkey has demonstrated that it is not afraid of long-term investment. Its rapid expansion in drone technology, naval development, and missile systems shows a pattern ambition backed by results. The TF Khan is simply the next logical step. Critics might argue that Turkey still relies on foreign tech and is years behind the US or China. But that's missing the point. The TF Khan isn't about catching up to the F-35 or the it's about leapfrogging constraints and forging a uniquely Turkish path forward. With each new iteration, with every new technological milestone, Turkey inches closer to complete self-reliance in its defense ecosystem. For younger Turks, the TF Khan represents something more than a fighter jet. It's a source of national pride. In a world where headlines are often dominated by Western or Eastern superpowers, seeing a domestically built stealth jet roar into the skies sends a powerful message, the future of global defense won't be unipolar. Turkey intends to be one of the poles. As we look ahead, the questions multiply. Will the TF Khan truly meet fifth generation standards across all metrics? Will it be exportable in volume and at competitive prices? Will Turkey be able to build and sustain the industrial base required for full scale production? These are critical questions, 
but the answers will unfold in real time, right before our eyes. One thing is certain, the skies are getting more crowded. And with the TF Khan, Turkey is not just flying alongside the big player so it's signaling that it plans to become one. This is Redline Royals, and you've just taken a deep dive into the rise of Turkey's TF Khan a bold move, a new direction, and a powerful symbol of where global air power is headed. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more high octane looks into the world's most advanced military machines. Until next time, keep your eyes on the ski so and your mind sharp.